cupcakes are always better with friends. <laughs> but first, I think we need to tell our friends out there something. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Two books. <laughs> Today we have a super awesome, super special, cool school episode for you. That's right, a craft and a story. Anything else we should mention to them? No, other than the craft and story combo, this episode is pretty normal. <laughs> right, right, everything is totally not unusual. Super typical. Are you ready? Yep, first up, let's do the craft. I know, done today. Oh, oh. Oh, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. I'm super excited today because Miss Booksy, isn't she so great, Miss Booksy? <laughs> Kids, hit like if you love Miss Booksy. Anyway, as I was saying, today is going to be super awesome because Miss Booksy is reading Little Bo Peep, and I'm going to do a craft to match. We are making the Little Bo Peep Cheap Cupcake. Woohoo! Woohoo! And what do we need to make this craft? Well, we need. Ah! Goodness gracious, Crafty Carol, get it together! Well, cupcakes, of course, my favorite. Some white frosting, a knife for like something to spread with, some black fondant. This is like so cool. I'll show you how that works later. Googly candy eyes. Ooh. And some mini marshmallows. I mean, we won't notice if like a handful of these is missing, right? Well, let me just check my watch here. It's five o'clock, let's get started. Okay, kids, so you could get pre-made cupcakes like this, or you could just get a plain one like this and we'll just frost it ourselves. This is like spreading clouds on a mountain of sweetness. Tell me in the comments below your favorite cupcake flavor. I feel like me and Miss Booksy have talked about this before. Miss Booksy always says things with chocolate and peanut butter. Hint, hint, Miss Booksy loves chocolate and peanut butter. Miss Booksy just like is so great. So this frosting is gonna act like the glue for our little sheep fur. And I love glue, you know me, the glue queen. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Sparkle queen, glitter queen. I'm gonna put that to the side in case we need more. I cannot wait to bite into this. So we're gonna take some of these mini marshmallows. These are just gonna be like the fur, but so much tastier than real fur. And I've tried real fur and it was not good. So you're just gonna kinda stick these around. And if you need more frosting to make it stickier, then do that. Do, 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 do. So Miss Booksy is gonna be telling the story of Little Bo Peep. A lot of you requested that story and so she is going to be doing it after this. So you could make this Little Bo Peep shaped cupcake craft and then sit and watch the Little Bo Peep video with Miss Booksy. It could be better than that. When I was a young crafty Carol, I loved this nursery rhyme. Let us know in the comments below what other nursery rhymes you want us to read. And we'll do it just like that. Before we finish the sheep fur, I'm gonna do the little sheep head. And today we are using fondant. It's like this sugary, thick paste that cake decorators use to make like flowers and balloons and little kitty cats and little boxes and little soccer balls and all those things to put on top of a cake. So the first thing you're gonna do is just roll this in a little ball. This is gonna be the sheep's face. A little sheep face. And you're gonna use your two fingers to kind of squeeze the cheeks. So it looks like that. Stick that sheep face kind of right towards the bottom of the cupcake. And we're gonna stick two candy eyeballs on the face. I am rolling what's gonna be the ears. And while I do that, let's do a famous Crafty Carol staring contest. Here we go. My eyes are drying up. Oh, I couldn't keep that. Well, you won again. Stick those ears on. So we have our little sheep face. And we're gonna add the rest of the marshmallows to kind of fill in the fur there. Fur, fur, fur. Made of marshmallows, what could be better than fur? Made of marshmallows. This is like a sugar overload, this cupcake. Oh my goodness, epic. And there you have it, boys and girls, your very own Little Bo Peep Sheep Cupcake. I love it. Mm. It is so good. 
I'm like a sheet cupcake expert. If you make your own, you know I want to see. See if you're grown up, take a pic, post it to Instagram, and of course tag me, definitely the real Crafty Carol, and tag at Cool School Show. Hit like and share this with a friend you love as much as I love Miss Foxy. That was so much fun. <laughs> and now it's story time with everyone's favorite librarian, Miss Foxy. Yay, story time. Hi, kids. Oh, wait a minute. Why do you guys look different? <laughs> What a great craft, Crafty Carol. She really is the best, right? Oh, and I love that sweater too. So fashionable. Anyway, now it's time for story time at Cool School. Oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Miss Booksy, of course. Yep, definitely, really, the real Miss Booksy. But you already knew that. <laughs> so, what are we reading today? Let's see. <laughs> oh, how about Little Bo Peep? I like that one. Let's go. Cool! I've always wanted to do that. <clears throat> I mean, hi, I'm Little Bo Peep, obviously. Little Bo Peep lived on a farm where she had all sorts of animals. Cows, horses, ponies, pigs, goats, chickens, cats, dogs, ducks, geese, fish, alpacas, and of course, her all-time favorite, sheep. I mean, who wouldn't love these little guys? They're soft and fluffy and cute, and they prance around like little woolly ballerinas, or should I say ballerinas? Huh? Oh my gosh, and don't even get me started on the adorable tiny little lambs. Anyway, so yeah, Little Bo Peep loved her sheep. So you can imagine, it was quite a shock when she skipped out to the pasture one day and... Ah! My sheep are missing! That's right, kids. Little Bo Peep's sheep were on the lamb. Not lamb like baby sheep. On the lamb means on the run, escaped, gone, vanished without a trace. Oh, this is terrible. Little Bo Peep called her friends for help. Mary, you gotta help me. I lost my sheep. <laughs> yes, even the little lambs. I know. Well, you gotta form a search party. Go now. Little Bo Peep called the police. Help, emergency, my sheep are missing. File a missing animals report. Call Interpol, call Scotland Yard, call in the National Guard. She even called the local news. Breaking news alert, Little Bo Peep's sheep are missing. Get your best reporters on the scene. I want round the clock coverage. But no one could find the sheep. Little Bo Peep was wondering if she should just give up when she had an interesting idea. This might be crazy, but here goes. Who's there? What do you want? My sheep are missing. Don't look at me. I didn't take your sheep. I've been hibernating all winter. I don't think wolves hibernate. What? I can't take a long nap. Never mind that. I need your help. Oh, you need help, do you? What's in it for me? All the bacon bits you can buy. That's right, kids. Little Bo Peep figured if anyone could find a flock of sheep, it would be the big bad wolf. He's bad, but he's got a good nose. Now go snip out those sheep, wolfy. Don't call me that. I've got a reputation to keep. Sorry. The big bad wolf sniffed all around, all through town. He stopped to listen for baths and bleats. Nothing, not a peep, no sign of the sheep. News Channel 5, live on the scene, as the notorious big bad wolf is on the hunt for the missing mutton. Here he is now, big bad wolf, give us the scoop. Any sign of those sheep? So far, zip, nothing. You heard it here first, still on the hunt for the missing flock. Looks like bad news. More on this at 11 o'clock. Little Bo Peep was so upset. Her beloved sheep were missing and no one knew where to find them. Oh, if only they would show up now, wagging their little tails behind them. <coughs> Wait, what's that sound? <coughs> Holy cannolis, they're back. My sheep, my sheep. <coughs> but who's that guy? Is that <coughs> Old McDonald? <coughs> Old McDonald, what are you doing with my sheep? Well. I was doing my usual inventory, and on my farm I have some sheep. Here a sheep, there a sheep, and here a sheep, and there a sheep, and here and there, and oh wow, everywhere a sheep, sheep. These aren't all my sheep. Whose sheep are these? And then I saw the news, and well, here we are. Well, I was so worried, my babies. But wh why would you guys run away to old McDonald's farm? You naughty boys and girls. 
I don't think the sheep ran away, Little Bo Peep. I also found this. <gasps> the mystery gets more mysterious. Ew, what is that? I think it's wolf hair. It was you the whole time? It turned out that the big bad wolf had been planning a major sheep heist. That means he was going to take them all. He confessed everything in a News Channel 5 exclusive. I was just about to take all the McDonald's flock and then Mary's little lamb too. Then I heard the police were looking for the missing sheep. I went back to my hideout and that's when little Bo Peep showed up. But why did you want all of our sheep? I wanted their wool. Haven't you ever heard of a wolf in sheep's clothing? <laughs> I cracked myself up. It's the perfect disguise for a wolf like me. And I could get away with all the crimes I want. What a scoundrel! But the important thing is my sheepy weepies are back! Yay! Well, folks, the big bad wolf has been caught, and little Bo Peep has her sheep. It looks like another happy ending in Nursery Rhyme Land. Yeah, the end. Classic big bad wolf. <laughs> well, hi! Look, girls and boys, it's my beautiful, intelligent best friend in the whole world, Crafty Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Great story, Miss Booksy. <laughs> Don't you guys think so? And your craft was so good. I hope you saved me a piece of that cupcake. Of course. <laughs> Cupcakes are always better with friends. <laughs> but first, I think we need to tell our friends out there something. <gasps> oh, you're right. <laughs> Two Booksies. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's better. We've got a situation. A wolf dressed as a girl just ate Granny Smith. A girl dressed as a wolf just ate Granny Smith? Yes. Wait. No. It was a We're on it. Arrest her. It's her. She's the one who ate Granny Smith. I saw it myself. I'm innocent. I didn't do it. Hey there, kids. It's me, Miss Booksy, and this is Storytime at Cool School. Today's story is Little Red Riding Hood to Return of the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood, probably because she was always wearing a little red hood. But not this Halloween. That's when she traded out her red hood for a super cool costume. I'm the Big Bad Wolf! Oh! <laughs> Isn't my costume awesome? I look just like that silly old wolf who thought he'd eat my grandma. She's gonna think this is hilarious! Oh, look at me! I'm the Big Bad Wolf who stinks like cheese! <laughs> oh man, I'm definitely gonna win the costume contest this year! But meanwhile... And voila! I look just like that silly little girl who thought she could get rid of me. Look at me! I'm Little Red Riding Hood! I'm so annoying! I think I'm the best at everything! Well, we'll see who's the best when I win the costume contest! Ha ha ha! Yep, it was a classic Halloween switcheroo. Let's talk about this costume contest. Every year, the town had a big carnival, and the person with the winning costume got a huge prize. This year, it's a Segway. You know, the thingies that you ride around on. I want to win it for my grandma so she can go anywhere she wants. <laughs> but first, time to trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <gasps> Was that? No, it couldn't be. The real Big Bad Wolf was captured long ago. There's no way he escaped. But little did Little Red know, the Big Bad Wolf was on the prowl. And he was being very bad indeed. He stole candies from babies. <laughs> he knocked over old man Jenkins' jack-o'-lanterns. Hey! He even drank all of Granny Smith's prize-winning apple cider. <laughs> You rascal! The big bad wolf was all trick and no treat. The townspeople loved Halloween and this mutt was ruining it! You're ruining Halloween! But the very last straw was when he ate Granny Smith! <coughs> Let me out of here this instant! <laughs> um, yeah, remember? The big bad wolf totally had a thing for eating grandmas. Hello, Sheriff! It's me, Jenkins! Old man Jenkins! How are you? Well, doing all right. But we've got a situation! A wolf dressed as a girl just ate Granny Smith! A girl dressed as a wolf just ate Granny Smith? Yes! Wait, now, it was a- We're on it! 
Hello? While all this was going down, Little Red Riding Hood was getting more and more frightened that the big bad wolf was in town. I had to go pick up my grandma before the carnival. Unfortunately, the only way to get there is through the super spooky woods. Extra spooky when it's Halloween, and there might be a big bad wolf on the prowl. <gasps> the word had gotten out about Granny Smith, and now the whole town was looking for the culprit. Arrest her! It's her! She's the one who ate Granny Smith! I saw it myself! I'm innocent! I didn't do it! Oh no, kids! Little Red's in trouble! You're ready for part two, like I am. Let's go! I'm the big bad wolf! Oh! <laughs> Isn't my costume awesome? I look just like that silly old wolf who thought he'd eat my grandma. She's gonna think this is hilarious! I look just like that silly little girl who thought she could get rid of me. Look at me! I'm Little Red Riding Hood! I'm so annoying! I think I'm the best at everything! Well, we'll see who's the best when I win the costume contest! Ha ha ha! You rascal! The big bad wolf was all trick and no treat. The townspeople loved Halloween and this mutt was ruining it! You're ruining Halloween! But the very last straw was when he ate Granny Smith! <coughs> Let me out of here this instant! We've got a situation! A wolf dressed as a girl just ate Granny Smith! A girl dressed as a wolf just ate Granny Smith? <laughs> We're on it! Arrest her! It's her! She's the one who ate Granny Smith! I saw it myself! I'm innocent! I didn't do it! Little Red Riding Hood was in jail for eating poor old Granny Smith! It's a total mix-up! I didn't eat anybody! It's the big bad wolf who did it! Yeah? Then why were you hiding? Looking like a stuffed Thanksgiving goose! A. I was hiding because I was scared. B. I was stuffed with Halloween candy, not a sweet old lady! What am I, an animal? And see, I think you mean a Thanksgiving turkey who eats goose. Well, okay, Smarty. How come you fit the exact description of the perp? I'm not a perp! Wait, what's a perp? Perpetrator. The one who is guilty. The girl dressed like a wolf, a.k.a. you. It was the big bad wolf, and now he's out there running around! Little Red Riding Hood was right. The big bad wolf was still out there, and he was heading straight for Grandma's house. Trick or treat! Hello, Grandma. Oh my, what a wonderful costume. You look just like that old wolf. Why, thank you. And you sound exactly like him. Go on. You even smell just like him. Gee, what a stinker. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, don't I get a phone call? I want to call my Grandma. That's sweet. Thank you. Hello? Grandma? Grandma, it's an emergency! I'm in jail! Long story, but I have to warn you, the big bad wolf is back! Oh, hello, a little red riding hood! So good to hear from you! It's the wolf! Sheriff! The wolf is at my grandma's! Oh, you better not eat my grandma, you mangy mutt! He hung up! Rude! Sheriff, let's go get that wolf! That's it! I'm busting out! How do I do that? If I throw this, I can drag the keys toward me. Oh, great idea, me. <laughs> Bullseye! Bullseye. Adios, sleepyhead. I gotta go fight some crime. Ooh, better fuel up first. Little Red Riding Hood ran all the way to her grandma's house. It was dark and scary, but she was too determined, too brave to be frightened. Ah, ooh, okay, I was a little scared until I realized it was just part of my grandma's Halloween decorations. I made it. <sighs> Time to save grandma. Yeah! Oh, Wolfie, I'm home. Little Red, help. Nice costume. Now let my grandma go. No way! Do it, you stinky wolf! Do I really smell so bad? That's the second comment today. Hey! Ha! Gotcha! And yeah, you smell like cheese. Let me go! This time, you're going to jail. Yoo-hoo! Don't forget about me! Granny Smith, is that you in there? Oh, right! 
and you spit out Granny Smith this instant! Okay, fine. Heavens to Betsy, it was dark in there! Little Red Riding Hood dragged the big bad wolf all the way back to the jail. There's your perp, Sheriff! A wolf dressed as a girl, not the other way around. Hide these so he doesn't get out, okay? See you later, Wolfie. I gotta go win that costume contest. And first prize, a brand new segue, goes to Little Red Riding Hood for her wolf costume. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. No problem, Mr. Jenkins. It happens. Grandma, come try out your new segue. <laughs> Let's break out the candy. Halloween party time! And that's the story of how Little Red Riding Hood defeated the Big Bad Wolf and saved Halloween. I sure am glad Little Red caught the big bad wolf. Let's hope he stays put this time. <laughs> it's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. In today's episode, we've got a great big switcheroo in store for you. It was time for science class at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait to do a fun science experiment. Hello, kids. My name is Miss Hap, your new science substitute. I hope you're ready to switch things up this science class. <laughs> Boys and girls, feast your eyes on the one and only switcheroo machine! Wow! Sounds kind of fancy. But what does it do? Simple. It allows any two people that step inside to switch places and become the other person. That's the switcheroo! Whoa! I want to see if this thing actually works. Well, why don't you step right up, young lady? Give her a whirl. Hey, I want to try too. Splendid! Kids, give a round of applause to our first two switcheroo volunteers. But meanwhile, Grace Scale was up to no good watching them through the window. There it is. The rumors were true. Excellent. Remember, this machine could be the key to taking down Cool School once and for all. All I have to do is find a way to get in the machine with Drew Pender. Then, like, we switch places, I get that darned pen, and, like, BAM! I rule cool school! Precisely! Go make me proud! We'll celebrate later with a jar of colorful M&Ms! You know, mean and meaner! <laughs> Drew and Nikki hopped into the switcheroo machine! And it worked! They switched bodies! Hmm! Still hadn't gotten the hair to work right! Whoa! I'm you, and you're me. Then Nikki, as Drew, sketched a giant test tube. I have always wanted to do that. You can make a ton of thunder in that tube using basic science. First, add concentrated sulfuric acid. Whoa, where did that come from? I really turned into Nikki. Well, all right then. Time to switch back, scientists. I was just getting started. I'm going to build one of these of my own one day. Drew and Nikki hopped into the switcheroo machine, and they switched back to normal. Hmm, that actually worked. Cool. Well, that's all for today. See you soon for more science fun. This is really cool. Ready for round two, Drewfus? Huh? Gray scale? W what's going on? Oh no, the switcheroo machine turned on and... Drew and Gray switched bodies. Hey, Drewfus, how do I look with this pen? Give it back, Grace! You mean Drew. Then Grace Scale used the pen ultimate to turn into Super Drew! I've got the power now, and there's like nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Miss Hat, Miss Hat, you have to help me! A villain trapped me in the switcheroo machine and ran off in my body! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, 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 no! That's not good at all! You see, the switch only lasts an hour before you get stuck in each other's bodies forever! Forever? And you're only telling me this now? That's why they call me Mishap. Grace Kale, what are you doing here? I bet she's trying to steal the switcheroo machine. Grab her now. No. Hi. You have the wrong. Yeah. Grace. We got you, Grace. Game's over. Now what have you done with Drew? I am Drew. Oh my gosh. Grace ate Drew? I don't think that's what happened here, guys. Robbie off now. Thanks, Nikki. 
It's really me, guys. Grace zapped us both in the switcheroo machine, and now she's running loose in cool school looking like me. Wow, that is like extra villainy. We don't have much time before she takes down cool school. Come on, guys. We have a villain superhero to catch. With no time to spare, Drew and his buddies ran out of the science lab to find Grace. I mean, Drew. I mean, Grace. Well, Grace, who looks like Drew? Uh, you know what I mean. They got to the crafting room, and Crafty Carol was tied up in pipe cleaners. Grace had drawn a huge mess. Drew Pandas, ruining all my crafts. Oh, I've got to get you for this. Drew and the gang kept running. They got to the library, and... Oh, no. Not Miss Booksy's library, too. <laughs> Oh no, Grace had drawn the beast of Beauty and the Beast! She drew real life fairy tale characters too! What's next? She's having way too much fun with my pen. Then in the gym, they found Grace! She was drawing a giant portal to Cruel School! Cruel cool School? You're going down! Oh no, it's not! After her! Ella came running, but Grace drew a banana peel! Then Robbie and Nikki came running too. Look out for the rhinos! This pen is like so my jam. Give it back, Race, or 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 what, Drewfess? No weapons to save you now, except yours. Drew turned on Grace's color no. vacuum and sucked ah. Grace right inside. Who gotcha? Drew put Grace in the switcheroo machine. And. It worked! They were back to their normal bodies! I'm me again! Woohoo! Oh, whatever. It was like totally lame being you anyway. Woohoo! We did it! Never been so happy to be me! Drow Pandas, you got a lot of explaining to do! Not again! Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Cool School was safe from superhero imposters, and Drew wasn't trapped in a villain's body forever. Moral of the story, boys and girls, be careful with switching room machines. They can be scary stuff. Unless, of course, you're switching your little brother for an ice cream cone. That's cool. A special shout out to everyone that suggested I switch places with someone. What a great idea. Be sure to comment what Drew should draw in his next adventure. And be sure to subscribe to Cool School so you never miss an episode of Drew Pendus. See you guys next time. Bye.